Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, 2018 question, Leave Insert Ordinary Level was question four on paper one, um, and it was as follows. The first Three stages in a pattern of grey and white tiles are shown in the diagram below. Stage one, stage two, stage three. And part A then asked you to draw the next stage of tiles onto the diagram above. Okay, I'm going to attempt to do this on the screen. It's probably not going to go well, but anyway. So in grey, I can see I have two rows here three rows here, four rows here. So I'm definitely going to need five rows of gray here, two by three by four, so square. So the gray, the gray is going to be five by five. Okay, so let me try out here. Okay, not even, but not too bad. Okay. These, of course, are all my grey ones. All the way down. I presume in your exam, that would be coloured in pencil or something as such. Okay, and then I am looking at the white tiles and I can see there's one on the right hand side. So I think I need one up here for a white one and then one down the bottom here. Okay, and they stay white. So that's my stage four. Okay, and in the exam, there, there could be five marks, it could even be 10. I've seen the odd exam with 10, but five marks for drawing that. So if you're good with drawing and patterns, this is a, a lovely question for you. Okay, and the next part of, of a drawing one can be to figure out the pattern, okay? So you have your stage number, which is your end number, um, or term one, term two, term three, term four, term five. They can also be called that with the T's before them. And it's just asking you to add up the number of gray tiles, the number of white tiles and the total number of tiles. So in that first stage, there was four gray tiles. There was two white tiles to give me a total of six. Stage two, three threes are nine. Stage three, four fours are 16. Stage four, 25. Um, so stage five must be six, six is 36. Okay, so you're always looking for the pattern. The number of white tiles is two in all of them. Okay, that doesn't look like it's changing. So then add nine and two is 11, 16 and two is 18, 25 and two is 27, 36 and two is 38. Okay, and typically another five marks for completing that, that table. Okay, assuming the pattern continues, the total number of tiles in stage N is given by the formula Tn is equal to N squared plus Bn plus C. Okay, find the values of B and the values of C. Okay, so a couple of things here. This is not an arithmetic sequence, okay, because if you think about it, I'm not adding on the same amount every time. Um, now, Two is staying the same, okay, but here I'm adding on five, here I'm adding on seven, and so on, so forth, all the way up, okay? So how, what is the easiest way of, of figuring out a particular sequence? Well, you have what's called the first difference, and you have what's called then the second difference, okay? You also have third difference and so on, so forth, but we, we'll stop at first and second. So the difference means... Um, and the reason I'm doing it on the total tiles here is because that's what they told me, the total number of tiles. Because in theory, I could look for a pattern in any of the of, of these columns. 
Okay, but the total number of types, so 6 to 11, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, is a plus 5. Um, to go from 11 to 18, I'm going up by 7. To go from 18 to 27, I'm going up by 9. To go from 27 to 38, I'm going up by 11. Okay, if the sequence was arithmetic, like it was in the uh, 2019 question, the first difference would be the same. In other words, you'd be adding or subtracting the same amount going from term to term. The first difference is not the same here, and that's how I know it is not an arithmetic sequence. Okay, my second difference then, okay, is the difference of the differences. So five to seven is a difference of plus two. Seven to nine, is a difference of plus two, nine to 11 is a difference of plus two. When the second difference is the same, your sequence then is what's called a quadratic sequence. Okay, um, so second difference is the same when it's a quadratic sequence. Okay, and the general form of a quadratic sequence is Tn is equal to n squared plus Bn plus C. Just the same as if you think about a quadratic equation, the general form is a n squared, uh, Ax squared plus Bx plus C. So when it's algebra, we tend to call the letter Xs. When it's sequence and series, we tend to call them Ns. Okay, but th the quadratic sequence is the same in them all. OK, remember I said that it was actually equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. OK, where did our a go in this particular case? OK, well, your common difference, all right, which is here, the second difference. So the second difference is equal to 2a. And that a is the a that I underlined here. Okay. Or I could say that my second difference divided by 2 is equal to that letter a that goes at the front of your um, quadratic sequence. Okay. So our second difference was our second difference was two, therefore little a is equal to two divided by two, it's half of the, the second difference, which is one. Okay, so when whoever wrote this question subbed in the one for a, they would have got one n squared plus b n plus c, or n squared plus b n plus c. OK, so that is why you are starting off with n squared plus b n plus c. Not every question tells you what A is, so you do need to know this piece of theory that's here. Okay, so that's the A part. Okay, it then asked me to find the B and the C. Okay, so you do that from your sequence. So remember what our sequence of total tiles was? We had um, six and 11, and 18, and 27, and 38. OK, so this is T1, my first term. This is T2. This is T3, T4, and T5. OK, so my first term is, is 6, and my second term is 11, and so on and so forth. OK, so any of the terms can be described by n squared plus bn plus c. Okay, so my first term, all I'm doing is replacing n with one. That's how I get my first term. I could go one squared plus b times one plus c, and that would actually be equal to six, which is what my first term actually is, or one plus b plus c is equal to 6. I want to bring the 1 over the other side so that I get b plus c is equal to 6 minus 1 
B plus C is equal to five. Okay, in the same way, I can set up T2. So what am I doing here? I have two unknowns, B and C. Therefore, I'm going to set up a set of simultaneous equations because that is the tool from algebra that I can use to solve two unknowns. So in the same way, N gets replaced by two in this case as such. So two squared plus B times two plus C, and that's actually equal to my second term, which is 11. Two twos are four plus two B plus C is equal to 11. Bring over the four and take it away. And I get two B plus C is equal to 11 minus four, which is seven. Okay, so my, I suppose my first equation, that's my second equation. Let's bring them together. So I have B plus C is equal to five. Two B plus C is equal to seven, okay? And the simultaneous equations tends to be quite easy um, because the C always can be straight away canceled. I'm gonna change the sign of the top line um, so that I have positive values. You can change the bottom line either. So plus C minus C cancels. 2B minus B, I'm just reading it backwards, is B. 7 minus 5 is 2. Okay, so I now know B is 2. Okay, let's solve for B. Let's sub it into either, either of these two equations. Well, this is an easy one because it's just B plus C. We know B is 2. Bring him over and take him away. So C is three, okay? So that's my value of B and C. I also know that my TN formula for that particular sequence is N squared. I'm subbing in my value for B, which was two plus two N, and I'm subbing in my value for C, which is three. Okay, so that is the TN formula that describes this particular quadratic sequence. Okay, uh, I could have used any terms here. I just, I could have used T3 because I knew that was 18. So N would become three and you just let it equal to 18. I could have used T4, I could have used T5. The reason that I use T1 and T2 is because the numbers are smaller and therefore the maths is easier, okay? So my recommendation is to use the, the, the lower numbers, but it doesn't matter. You're gonna get the exact same values for B and C. You're just going to have bigger numbers in your simultaneous equations here, that's all. But it'll whittle down to being B being two and C being three, no matter which of the, the five terms you use, okay? And then it's nice to finish off by subbing the values into your TN formula, okay? Um, and it's nice to finish it off because generally you need it. Okay, so it says, find the number of the stage which has four, four, three tiles in total. Okay, so let me write down my, I think that's it, n squared plus two n plus three. Okay, so that's this particular sequence, okay? Right, so it wants to know, find the number of the stage which has four, four, three tiles in total, okay? So it's either, okay, this type of a question is either asking me for T443, okay? So in other words, uh, what's the, the how, man, how many number of um, boxes would be in term 443? Or it's asking me, where is the, sequence which n value has 443 uh, tiles in it, okay? So when you see this question, just have a little pause. Is it one of these questions or is it one of these questions? Okay, and take that minute just to figure out which version it is. So it says find the number of the stage. So it's looking for Tn, okay? It's this particular one. 
find the number of the stage which has 443 tiles in total. Okay. So basically it is asking me which end stage is equal to 443. Okay, it is a quadratic. Bring him over. n squared plus 2n minus 440 equal to zero. Okay, of course you can do the factors um, if you can see them. If you can't see them, of course you can use the minus p formula, it's a quadratic. Okay, so x is equal to, remember the formula, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So that's in your log tables. So minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so minus 2 plus or minus, let me put that square root piece into the calculator, 2 squared minus 4ac. Is 42 over 2. Let's split it. Okay, so my first answer comes from minus 2 plus 42 over 2, and my next answer comes from minus 2 minus 42 over 2. So minus 2 plus 42 all over 2, and I'm getting 20 for that. And then if I go back and change that plus value, to a minus I am getting minus 22 for that one. Okay, let's have a think about the letter we solved for. Okay, so even though the minus b formula always says x is equal to the answers you get are actually whatever letter was in the question. Okay, so for my answer I've got n is equal to 20 n is equal to minus 22. Now let's go back to the question again. It says find the number of the stage. It did not say stages and I have stages at the moment. It said stage which has 443 tiles in total. Now if you're doing a pattern with stages in it you, you can't have a negative stage okay. You can't go back in time or 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 have a negative one. Okay, so you discard that. And so your answer is it's the 20th stage that has 443 tiles in total. And of course you can check because you can go n squared plus 2n plus 3 because that's what you found out for the sequence is 20 squared plus 2 times 20 plus 3 equal to 443. Well, 20 squared is 400. 220s is 40 plus 3 and of course that's equal to 443 so you know that you're right. Okay so a quadratic sequence quite a typical question in leave insert ordinary level. If you are interested in technology or engineering but are not doing higher level maths why not consider our level 7 in electronic and computer engineering. This is a three-year program that looks at the design and development of embedded electronic systems. These are the medical devices that keeps us healthy, the consumer devices that keeps us entertained, or the controlled systems that keeps us safe on the road. You can then progress on to the level 8 in electronics and self-driving technologies and from there to the masters. Check out the link below for more information.